And hello everyone, Miami CO Indiana here. As I stated in a recent video, my Eden Pure heater finally died on me after seven complete seasons using it. And I said I was going to replace it. I went ahead and replaced it with this one, the Home Comfort 1500 watt heater. So I just want to do you a quick comparison. I can't really give you any results. It's still September and the temperatures are in the 70s. I'm just testing it right now to make sure it's working. So far so good. I have the heat as you see set way up. 84, I want to make sure it stays on. I'm just going to check the plug, check to make sure heat's coming out good and everything sounds okay since I am in that initial warranty period. So this is uh, how it came. I ordered this um, online off eBay. Home Comfort 1500 is the same. In fact, the manual even says heat for less. So heat for less and Home Comfort exactly the same company and the exact same product. Now that's the box it came in. Don't know about that claim there. Anyhow, I'll show you some of the features stated on the box here. It has a lifetime limited warranty, uh, which means you pay for the part and they will ship you the part, I believe, or you could take it to a service center and the part is free and you pay the service center for putting the part in. I believe how that works. Uh, safe as all infrared heaters mostly are. Safety touch grill, which most of them also have. It's a little felt on there, so it's not as hot when you touch it. This one does have though the safety child lock, which means you can lock the unit so no one can come along and change the settings. Healthy like infrared heat is. Uh, saves more money, makes more heat. That is to be determined. Uh, it's supposed to have really good um, heating. I wanted to make sure to have quartz heating elements. Looking for a heater, I don't want the PTC. I wanted the quartz elements. And this one has um, the quartz that are rated at 40,000 hours. That's twice as much as my Eden Pure. Remote control, and I'm going to show you that here in a moment. Uh, easy to operate. I will say this one has very few buttons, so it is very easy. I like that also it has the memory technology. Power goes off, it will come back on at the same setting it went off. Built strong, that's to be determined, of course. Easy to service. 2008 was when they started making these. That's the manual that comes with it. And this is the remote that comes with the heater. Very, very basic remote. You have power and temperature up and down. Um, this is the remote to my Eden Pure Gen 3. This is a lot bigger, more solid remote. But to be honest, remotes aren't that important to me because I generally set my heaters and just leave them. So that's the one I'm replacing. This is my Gen 3, purchased in 2012 and was using it all winter every year for seven complete winters through 2019. The beginning of, beginning of 2020, like everything in 2020, goes to crap, doesn't it? Well, this heater blew a few bulbs out. I noticed it was not putting out the heat that it was putting out. Now, I could order new bulbs and put new replacement bulbs in it. Cost about $90. Uh, my theory is everything on the heater has a lot of wear, the fan, the electronics, the circuit boards. So I just went ahead and replaced with a brand new heater. Not going to tell you anything bad about this heater because it was a workhorse for seven years. Trouble free. Same bulbs. Everything worked fine. And the bulbs do eventually go out. It's just the nature of infrared heaters, so no big deal. If you want to know how to check for bulbs going out on your heater, um, I did do a video on this heater, and you can do it really with any infrared heater, how to check your infrared bulbs before the heating season to make sure they are working. I'll put a link to that video in the description. Do you want to say the um, Heat for Less Home Comfort Heater is a little smaller, a little shorter, but not by a whole lot. The height-wise, there are pretty close. The Eden Pure is slightly higher. About weight, the Eden Pure Gen 3 does weigh a little more. 
than the Home Comfort, but not that much different. They both have wheels. You can roll them around easily. I do like the Home Comfort's heat for less temperature reading. I will say if you're in a dark bedroom, that may be a little bright. I always tell people, though, it's very safe just to take a piece of black electrical tape and put right over that if that light bothers you. In my application, it's a central heating system, and it's not going to bother me at all. But I like having the temperature instead of how Eden Pure did it with the lights. Once you figure it out, you're okay, but that's a lot easier. Just dial the temperature you want and let it go. So we'll see how that works out. So again, can't give you any review on how it heats compared to the Eden Pure Gen 3 because it's not winter yet. But in a month or two, I will get a video up and uh, let you know my honest opinion on how I like the Home Comfort heater. I will say, as far as blowing out, I do believe the Home Comfort has a larger fan in it because I definitely feel a forceful airflow coming out of the unit. So that means the CFM, which I think it's rated at 152 on this product, seems to be pretty good. Back of the units, I'll show you in the mirror there. That's a mirror you're looking at. Uh, one thing I do like about the Eden Pure model more than the Home Comfort is the filter. The filter on the new one, Home Comfort's right here. This is where the air is going in. I can feel the air being sucked in. It's on the bottom with the Gen 3. But all you have to do is pull the cover off to get to the filter with the Eden Pure Gen 3. This one you actually have to take off a couple screws to get to the filter. It's not a huge deal, but I like to change my filters, or not change them, but wash them weekly because you got to make sure your filters are clean in these heaters so they run efficiently. Same thing with a furnace, keep your filters clean. So they're here side by side. That one's going to be retired. That one retired. This is the replacement. We're going to see how it does. So anyway, if you've used the Heat for Less or the Home Comfort Heater or any other infrared heater or any other heater you like or have any other comments you like, put it in the description below and leave a comment. I try to answer all my comments. do appreciate you watching today. So we're going to see if I made a good choice on getting this Home Comfort 1500 heater. Again, in a few months, we'll do a review on exactly what I think and how it heats. Till next time, I certainly hope your day's going great. Hope 2020 is ending soon and we can go on to something better. Till next time, hope you're having a great day. So long.